everyone, my name is Cindy, and today I am going to show you how to use the Audubon Bird Guide app. So the Audubon Bird Guide app is available for both Android and Apple devices. You can get it in the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. You just have to type in Audubon and it will be this one over here that says Audubon Bird Guide. Obviously you'll have to download it and once you download it you'll get this really pretty image and then can get started. <laughs> so if you want to you can in fact make an app and there are many uh, many sort of benefits towards making an account. You do have to at least put in an email address and continue. And so these are the specific benefits of getting an Audubon account. If you're actually interested in bird sightings, in sharing photos, and really being part of this interactive community, you will want to sign up for that free account. But if not, if you just want to learn more about birds, then you can just continue without an account. <laughs> and it'll set you up. It recommends that you download an official offline field guide, uh, which just gives you a lot of information about birds. So if you are out in nature and away from any sort of signal, you can still have access to their guide. Uh, it does take a little bit of time. and It is a fairly hefty amount of data, so I'm just going to say not now. You can also enable notifications. And then you can enable location services, which is helpful if you want to be able to find birds that are near you or in your direct area. I'm just going to say allow while using app, but you are free to do whatever you want. And then once you have finished that setup process, you get to this page. So this is our home page. Uh, as you can see at the top of it, it has information about yourself. So how many bird sightings you have, how many birds you've seen, uh, how many bird sightings you've placed, how many birds you've seen, and any alarms that you have set up. There is at the top of this some interesting information about climate vulnerable, vulnerable birds that are nearby. And to learn more about any of these things, you can just click on the information about them. The information that, as someone that might be interested in uh, looking for birds yourself, identify birds is probably going to be one of your most helpful tools. So if you turn on location, it should have your general location like in Kentucky, and it should also have access to your calendar. And now for this, you know, at the at the bottom, they just have a bunch of options that might be uh, birds that you'll see in this area. If you want to look at all of them, you can just see all. So maybe you looked out your, your window just this morning and you saw, you know, a little flash of red. And you realize that it is a northern cardinal. If you wanted to add a sighting, you just click add a sighting. But it's at this point that you do need that account. Otherwise, you can just learn more information about the birds. If you want to try to kind of identify a bird, you can always click on one of these little images. And let's say you saw something that's like really big. You don't really know what a heron is, but you know, you know, it was really, really big. Um, you also, you know, were like, oh, it was a white bird. And then you see at the bottom, you have narrowed down what it could have possibly been that you saw and you know you can just keep doing that with you know type activity habitat voice all these kinds of things to help you identify the bird you saw i do have to caution you that if you are not a more experienced bird watcher like i'm not a very experienced bird watcher i did find that not all of this information was immediately helpful to me i would have to learn a little bit more information and gain a little bit more practice bird watching to really gain use of it. And you just get close at the top. 
You can also search the guide if you just want to look something up. Uh, let's say that you want to learn about, you know, a swallow. You didn't even know there were all these kinds of swallows, but so you just type in swallow and then you click on something that looks interesting. Going back, hitting cancel, and there we go. There is more information along here. Uh, so you can do birding at home, you can just look through the field guide, all these kinds of things. Just a bunch of information to explore. And speaking of explore, at the very bottom you see that there are a bunch of uh, tags, or tabs rather. This is, we're in our home tab, so we're on our home page, but if you click explore, this is when it really starts to utilize your location finder. So I am in Frankfurt, and each of these blue dots represent uh, some areas where I might be able to go bird watching. So let's just pick one at random. We're going to choose this one over here, which as you see, it's highlighted to say Vaughn Branch Forest and Upland. And if you click on the side arrow, that tells you the birds that were sighted in that area. So if you're trying to find it, and also when. So if you're trying to find a specific bird in the area, this is a really helpful guide for you to take advantage of. And when you click on any of these, you know, you see information about it, you see the date, uh, and you can just explore more sightings, uh, which lets you know that there in fact was a sighting, you know, in these areas. Let's go back to ad sighting. So ad sighting, once again, that has to be your account. So if you don't sign up for account, you can't use it, but I want you to be aware of this. Let's go back to home. And then, you know, field guide. So field guide will generally take you to information about birds. I want to go all the way back. So if ever, you know, you kind of at the previous page like we are where we were just seeing a bird, you can just always hit the back button so that we can get to our main field guide page because this is what your main field guide page looks like. And at the top, you can isolate the location close and you can also isolate the relative month so if you only want to look for birds for a certain location and a certain time of the year this is helpful now let's just choose any bird at random I'm gonna look at the American crow so when you find a bird that you want to learn more about it opens up to this main page about it. It gives you the common name, it gives you the scientific name, and there's a lot more information. There are also usually pictures at the top which you can just swipe left and right to see more of. If you have seen it, you can add a sighting. It gives you the family, give you the description, and one of the things that I really found interesting was that it in fact gave you um, gave you examples of what its songs and calls sound like. It's not absolutely every bird, but most birds have multiple songs and calls. So you're like, what does a, a crow call sound like? You just click on one of them. And that's what a crow call sounds like. Uh, if you don't know what a cracko and bell call, call sounds like. And that's it. And so you can start learning how to identify different birds by their calls. It also lets you know what their range is, telling you when, you know, migration is, winter is, breeding is, uh, and gives you a lot more information, like about conservation status, diet, eggs. So you can learn a lot of information about uh, different kinds of birds. You can also click on the sightings tab, which lets you know if that bird was seen in your direct area or nearby or wherever. Uh, and then similar is if you wanted to learn about similar birds to that particular bird. And you just click on any one of them and learn that information. Just head on back. And then finally, as you may suspect by now, my Autobahn uh, just lets you 
include information that would be specific to you and is only available if you've signed up for that account. So if you want to get an alert about birds near you, uh, if you want to track areas that you have gone to look for birds, uh, if you want to make a list, you would do all these things in my Audubon. So I do hope that this was a helpful app for you and a helpful look into this app. Uh, it is free, like I said earlier, and it is available on multiple platforms. And it is also pushed out by the National Audubon Society, which is an American nonprofit environmental organization dedicated to the conservation of birds and their habitats. So it is a very reputable source and something that you might find helpful. If you have any questions about it, feel free to comment on this video and I will do my best to help you learn to use this app. So I hope you have a good day. Bye!